this is great honor to me for delivering my speech in your general body meeting first of all i would like to say my sorry for the delay our party secretary district secretary mr gauri shankar one of the chennai district secretary have expired last night for that i have to go there and console the parents and family i have attended that important death after that i went for a conference which organized by obc employees welfare association lic in paris corner it's very far away from here that's what i came late once again i would like to say my sorry for the delay our honorable minister mr ramdas adwale ji spoke and left here because he has another important program in vellore it is far away from chennai nearly 3 hours drive from chennai we are very close from 1990 when he was president of dalit panthers of india general secretary i was working in forensic sciences department as a scientific assistant in madurai the time i came to know about this movement through our beloved brother mr malai chami after couple of some months he passed away because of his illness intracerebral hemorrhage then i became the president of this movement dalit panthers i have spoken through phone with our brother ramdas adwale ji he asked me to convert this movement as rpi because in maharashtra we all dalit factions have joined together and converted as rpi he advised me to convert dalit panthers in tamil nadu as rpi but i couldn't i changed this name as liberation panthers in tamil nadu vidudalai chiruthaigal dalit panthers converted into liberation panthers i didn't know about anything about the movement dalit panthers of india i don't know because within couple of months mr malai chami passed away i didn't have any contact with adwale ji or mumbai leaders so i started a new movement with a new flag with the new slogans in tamil nadu but still we are identifying ourselves as dalit panthers that's what we are very close ramdas adwale ji and myself i am deeply against to the 
BJP Alliance. But my beloved brother is with BJP Alliance. But I don't bother about it. He is my brother. Wherever he goes, I will go and meet him. Whenever he comes to Chennai, I used to meet him. Whenever I am in Delhi, I used to meet him. He is working for the downtrodden with the BJP Alliance. He is helping all downtrodden people, not only SCST. He is very conscious and bit correct. I know about him. I never hesitate to meet him because of he is with the BJP Alliance. I never hesitate. He knows very well that I am criticizing BJP politics. He knows very well. He doesn't bother about it. Trimavalavan is my brother. Wherever he comes, I will meet him. This is our relationship in between him and me. So I am very proud to be a brother of Ramdas Adwale Ji. Our brother Babu asked me to invite our Honorable Minister for this general body meeting. Immediately I dialed to our father Susai, who is in charge of Tamil Nadu, and gave his contact number to our beloved brother Babu. Through him only we fixed the disappointment from our Honorable Minister. Actually today all party meeting is there in Delhi. I thought he will not come because he is very important leader in the BJP Alliance, we know. Regarding Manipur issue, Our Home Minister Amit Shah invited all floor leaders of Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha. So I afraid that our Honorable Minister will not come for this general body meeting. But anyhow, he came and attended this event and honored us. Not only you, I also have to thank for his presence. Our beloved brother Babu spoke emotionally about his relationship with, the, with me. He claimed that only because of Thirumavalavan I have this kind of emotions on our community. Beloved brother Babu and Gubendran and all other Indian bank officers are always our well wishes. Whenever we are meeting in person, we are sharing our views regarding our people issues, not only employees issues, not only bank banking people issues, downtrodden people issues. He has social conscience. Not only Babu and all other office bearers of this association. So I feel that this ACST Employees Association is a unit of VCK. A unit of VCK. Whenever we need help for our activities, without any hesitation, Babu and the other brothers will come forward to help VCK for our social activities, for our students, like this. Now he gifted one 
computer system for a poor transgender. So I appreciate All India Indian Bank SCST Association for their contribution towards upliftment of the community. Our Baba Sahib Ambedkar gave to this country a manifesto to build a new modern India that is nothing but constitution of India. That is a manifesto of modern India. Constitution India is not only a law, that is manifesto contributed by our Baba Sahib Dr. Ambedkar. Now, wherever I go, I asked our people, particularly our employees, state, central or public sectors, I request them, you have to gift all our leaders or guests the preamble of the constitution. Not like shawl or garland. Don't spend money for these kind of activities. You have to frame the page, one page, preamble of the constitution. You have to frame and give to all chief guests and special guests and leaders. You have to gift Wherever you go, wherever you attend any family programs, marriages, you please give it to them. Everyone, each and everyone should have this preamble of the constitution in our home or in our office. That is very important. This is my message. In your general body meeting, because there is a big threat to the constitution which made by Dr. B. R. Ambedkar. We should realize it. There is a big threat because of Sanatan forces who are anti Ambedkarites. Preamble of the Constitution have only ten lines. Each and every word have to be protected. Each and every word in the preamble of the Constitution have to be protected. Our Baba Sahib Ambedkar is defining our union government. What is union government? It is a state. It is a state, sovereign, socialist, secular, democratic republic. This is the definition of union government. This is the definition of our state. The state is perpetuate one. Sovereign, socialist, secular, democratic republic. These five terms are very important to save our nation, to save our people. But there is a force to change or dilute this concept of our Baba Sahib Ambedkar. They want to declare this nation as non-secular state. 
Ambedkar declared this is secular state. This is secular nation. Then only we can liberate from this slavery system. But the people who are in the power, in the center, or is trying to dilute the constitution because this is a state of secular. They don't want it. They want to declare a state religion. They want to declare this nation as a non-secular nation. You know very well what is the actual term they want to rename the country. Our constitution says, this is a country, namely India, allies Bharat. But they are, want, they, they are trying to rename this country, name, country as Hindu Rashtra. What is this? Each and every Ambedkar should know this politics what is behind it that is very important say so they want to dilute the constitution which made by dr b r ambedkar we are the savior of the constitution if we lose the constitution Definitely, we will go back 2,000 years. They will perpetuate the same social order on the basis of Varnasrama Dharma, Manusmriti. But our Baba Sahib Ambedkar, through this constitution, without any arms and ammunition, he is demolishing the ancient India, which is based on Varnasrama Dharma. Simultaneously, he is building a new India, which is for equality. There are four pillars of the new India, justice, liberty, equality and fraternity. These are the four pillars of the democracy. These are the four pillars of the modern India, which is dream of Dr. B.R. Ambedkar. So we the people got education and employment. We are working in the public sectors. We are working in central and state governments. We are earning more and more money. We are very safe. Now, what about others who have no this kind of opportunities struggling in the rural and villages? So we have to sustain, retain the concept of social justice. If we want to retain or sustain this social justice, we have to protect our constitution. Otherwise, we can, we can't. So there is a big threat to the constitution in our country. We are fighting for this only. We are not for a mere MLA, MP, this kind of postings. The real Ambedkarite, a pure Ambedkarite, has to come forward to protect our constitution. This is the need of the hour. This is the need of the hour. Otherwise, we will lose everything. Baba Sahib Ambedkar drafted this constitution with staunch struggle. Amidst of the Hardcore Hindutva forces like Bala Gangadhar Tilakar, 
கோபாலகிருஷ்ணக் கோகலே ஏ வை ஆல் லீடர்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் காங்கிரஸ் அல்சோ சர்தார் பட்டேல் லைக் லீடர்ஸ் அல்சோ அகெயின்ஸ்ட் கோட் ஆஃப் இண்டு பில் வி நோ வெரி வெல் ரெவல்யூஷனரி டாக்டர் பி ஆர் அம்பேத்கர் I had fought with them because of his clarity of thoughts with the capacity of his ideology he fought with them then only he made the constitution and made this preamble in this preamble he established that we are going to form a new government this government will be secular we are going to build a new nation this nation will be a secular this is very important many brothers came from maharashtra and other north indian states they know very well about the sang parivas activities in north india they can't do anything in tamil nadu sang parivas rss and bjp cannot do anything in our state here ambedkarites periyarists and left forces how joint together we are fighting against this kind of sanatan forces but even in maharashtra they developed rss and other sang parivar movements dear brothers and sisters i am one among a few that's what i have the right to share my views in this regard our baba sahib dr ambedkar has a dream to annihilate the caste system no leaders except ambedkar wants to annihilate the caste system we know gandhi ji also against untouchability practices not against caste system a contemporary leaders no one was against caste system except dr b r ambedkar no one was there pandit jawarlal nehru a radical leader but he didn't raise his voice against this caste system and caste atrocities so only leader in our nation our baba sahib dr b r ambedkar had fought against this caste system his dream which is nothing but to annihilation of the caste he didn't say abolition of the caste he didn't say eradication of the caste he didn't use these terms eradication or abolition he used annihilation this is very important we have to know annihilation of the caste once you annihilate the caste system it will not come back to the society that is the actual meaning for annihilation so what is the ultimate aim of our baba sahib ambedkar mere education employment not only this our baba sahib ambedkar has a target ultimate aim 
that is costless nation costless society so he wants to annihilate the caste system for this purpose he made a strategy that is nothing but social justice through social justice we can get reservations in education and employment this is a revolutionary doctrine social justice is a concept is a philosophy is a doctrine for social revolution you don't think that this is a concept only for reservation in education and employment these are for empowering the people who are downtrodden who have rejected from the education and employment and power share so we must know about the philosophy of social justice if they dilute the constitution we will lose the social justice if you lose social justice no one can empower from downtrodden people no one can empower the empowerment of dalits empowerment of tribes empowerment of women empowerment of trans transgenders empowerment of minorities these are the main concept of social justice these groups social groups are called as marginalized sections these social groups are called as bahujan in north states we are not using this term here bahujan means excluding brahmins all other social groups have to come together the exclusion of brahmins that is a hidden point in this term bahujan bahujan means majority of the people from downtrodden reserved categories scheduled caste scheduled tribes obc minorities differently abled transgender and other microscopic social groups these social groups are so called bahujan so we need the unity of bahujan to protect our constitution then only we can protect our reservation or social justice our baba sahib dr b r ambedkar a national leader international leader across the world every intellectual is celebrating his contribution obama has no very well about our baba sahib but here in india still non scst people doesn't know about anything about our baba sahib this is really pathetic one so i request you all in every event if you want to gift anything to our special guest or chief guest or any leaders you please give to them the preamble of the constitution that is very important kena darumai tholargale indha nigalvil pangerpadil naan magizhchi adaigiren enakku indha vaaippai valangiyadarkkaga irudey nenjaarna nandriyai urithaatugiren sellum idamellam neengal ini புரட்சியாளர் அம்பேத்கர் அவர்கள் வகுத்தளித்த அரசமைப்பு சட்டத்தின் முகப்புரையை சட்டம் போட்டு பிரேம் செய்து சட்டம் போட்டு அதை அன்பளிப்பாக அனைவருக்கும் வழங்குங்கள் இல்லந்தோறும் அரசமைப்பு சட்டம் என்கிற முழக்கத்தை முன்னெடுத்து செல்வோம் அரசமைப்பு சட்டத்திற்கு பெரும் ஆபத்து சூழ்ந்துள்ளது 
அந்த ஆபத்தை பாதுகாக்க ஆபத்திலிருந்து அரசமைப்பு சட்டத்தை பாதுகாக்க நாம் கடமைப்பட்டிருக்கிறோம் நாம் படித்தால் போதும் நம் பிள்ளைகள் படித்தால் போதும் நாம் வேலை வாய்ப்பு பெற்றால் போதும் நாம் பொருளாதாரத்தில் வலிமை பெற்றால் போதும் என்கிற நிலை இல்லாமல் புரட்சியாளர் அம்பேத்கர் கண்ட கனவை நனவாக்க சாதியற்ற ஒரு சமூகத்தை கட்டமைக்க மதசார்பற்ற அரசை பாதுகாக்க மதசார்பற்ற இந்தியாவை உருவாக்க நாம் ஒவ்வொருவரும் நம்மாலான பங்களிப்பை செய்வோம் அதற்கான ஒரு உறுதியை எடுக்கிற நிகழ்வாக இந்த நிகழ்வு அமையட்டும் என்று சொல்லி வாய்ப்புக்கு நன்றி கூறி முடிக்கிறேன் நன்றி வணக்கம்